going to show you how to use Boonex Dolphin on your Windows computer. This program called DAMP, which is short for Dolphin Apache MySQL and PHP. You can uh, literally have a Dolphin test environment up and running in just a couple of minutes. It's uh, all pre-configured, ready to go. It includes Dolphin in the database. Apache, MySQL, PHP are all ready to go. You shouldn't have to make any uh, changes. You'll need to come to this website here. I'll have a link in the description and you need to scroll down to the download section and download the latest version which may vary slightly depending on when you're watching this and save that to your computer. I have it downloaded already up here and you'll need to extract that. Let's just give this a few seconds here. There we're up to about 45 seconds now. It's 20, 19. So it, it jumps. It goes pretty fast actually. I'll just let this go. And once it's extracted, all you really need to do is start it up and you're done. You're ready to go. Most of the files in here are uh, Boonex, Dolphin, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And I think Dolphin alone has 5,000 files or something like that in it. So it takes a few to extract 5,000 plus files. Okay, there we go. And let's move the folder up a little bit. And then you just want to go into the folder you just extracted. Go to Damp here. Double click it to start it up. There it goes. Then you can just go to Dolphin front page or administration and start using it right away. So we'll go to the Dolphin front page. And there it is. There's the uh, main front end Dolphin page. That's a standard default install. Nothing included extra added to it. You can come here and go to the administration and you can see the username is admin and the password is dolphin to log in. And you'll just enter admin and dolphin. And continue trial. It doesn't expire anything. So anyway, here's the, the dolphin dashboard. You can install modules and uh, configure pages and builders menus here on the host tools will tell you uh, some basic information about the setup and you'll see that uh, everything checks out PHP is fine all the settings are okay FFmpeg which converts videos and whatnot is all good to go Cron tab will not show anything in here because it, this is based on Linux but it does include a cron Windows cron so it doesn't show up here but it is working and ready to go everything checks out these warnings are just saying that you don't have a accelerator like APC cache X cache memory cache there is APC cache available but I don't enable it by default you can do so if you wish but in a test environment it's better to leave caching like APC and them off we come here this is PHP my admin which you can uh, administer the database, export any changes you might have made to a Dolphin uh, development site and you want to maybe import them at your host, you can go to phpMyAdmin and do so. Uh, user login is root and the password is Dolphin again. We can enter Dolphin for the password. There's the Dolphin database on the side and these would be all the uh, entries in Dolphin. As you install additional modules, you'll get more in here. That's available to you. You can go to export and then export the database from here and then import it in your host. If that's something you're uh, working on, uh, creating a site and you want to transfer the changes. So it's a pretty common tool. And here is a help link to the Boonex uh, for additional 
reading and information on the side here you got dolphin home folder if you click that it'll open uh, the location of all the dolphin files if you need to edit or make changes and whatnot in there also the template folder this is where all the templates for dolphin would be and there's also the modules folder which is the Boonix modules everything included that you could install from Boonix are in here if you need to go and edit any of them CSS whatever the regular if you added additional model modules would end up here so it's just sort of back one folder so you can check the readme which is just information about the version and the system requirements you can shut down and restart there's a help link here which will take you to some additional basic information about damp and how to use use it with dolphin if you're looking for a little more reading and information and the settings in here this is for advanced users that want more control you can view and edit the dolphin header you can change the dolphin admin password from here which is right here if you use this it would change this dolphin to another password uh, Apache modules you can enable disable or open and edit the Apache configuration file directly just be careful with these because you can render damp unavailable sort of if you pick something that you don't know what you're doing that's certainly possible so try not to change them unless you know what you're doing you can change the IP uh, address and port uh, it's preset to 127.0.0.1 which is also local host some other uh, similar type of servers will use local host instead of the actual IP number address which is actually slower so it's better to use this if possible because it will be faster and it's using the port 8080 you can change this to 81 or 8081 uh, if you try 80 it may conflict with Microsoft uh, 2S which comes with I believe Windows 8 and 10 and uh, since that's already running on port 80 this may conflict you may have to turn 2S off or it may the Windows firewall may prompt you to uh, allow this so if you use an alternate port other than 80 uh, you should have no nothing else to do but if you ever wanted to use it for a real live site on port 80 you need to do some additional configuring and settings but for a local test environment everything in here should work fine let's preset the database to my ISAM which is really fast you can switch to INNO database uh, if you want to use a little more resources there's a view and edit the my any if you want to make changes to that you can change the MySQL RIP password which is right here under PHP MyAdmin if you change this it'll change the Dolphin under here and you'll need to log in with that new password then PHP extensions are similar to the Apache modules you can enable and disable them you can raise the memory limit max execution time input time file size and post max size or open the PHP any file and edit it directly um, on the side here there's a send mail which can be configured to uh, use an external SMTP mail server if you want to test out the mail functions uh, sending notifications or um, whatnot in Dolphin there's also Dolphin includes a, a SMTP module that will do the same thing can, you'd have to enable that in the Dolphin administration but this is disabled by default but it's available and it automatically starts the Dolphin cron at start which is needed to process like videos uh, if you want to manually start it and stop it you could change this to false and there'd be additional buttons in here to start and stop the Dolphin password show and hide is under the administration here if you want to hide this password it would you could select hide and it'll star that out 
the MySQL password you can hide and it'll start this out under PHP MyAdmin. A backup feature will back up configured files like the uh, header ink, the Apache configuration file, MySQL any, and the PHP any. This can be set up and used within just a couple of minutes. Basically it just depends on how fast you can download the zip file and extract it and you're ready to go. It shuts down pretty fast. There's no uh, installer. Nothing gets physically installed through the Windows installer. So if you wanted to get rid of it completely, you would just shut it down, go to the folder, and delete the folder completely, and it would be gone. It's also portable, which means it'll run from any location on your computer, even an external uh, flash drive. So if I wanted to move this to another folder up in there, I could go into there and it would run from there just fine. If I moved this to a flash drive, it would run from the flash drive just fine on any computer that has Windows Vista or above. And if you come back here and check the uh, download page again, you'll see the system requirements. Like I said, it requires Vista or newer. Works on both 32 and 64 bit systems. Vista with Service Pack 2, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8, 1, and 10. Also, a few of these server editions here. Minimum requirements is the space required. The files is currently around 264, which will vary depending on when you download this. And if you're adding videos and whatnot to Dolphin, this you'll obviously need more than that but hard drives are extremely big these days so that space should not be a problem it does require Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 which is also known as VC11 if you don't have them get them from Microsoft directly here if you start damp and you see an uh, error like this that says can't start because MSVCR 1110.dll is missing. That's basically saying that VC11 is not on your system and you'll need to get that from Microsoft. You only need the 32-bit at the current time and then that error won't be there. That's not specific to DAMP. Pretty easy. It's a free program. There's nothing to it. You can be up and running a test environment. You want to do some programming. You want to test out some templates. Try your hand at customizing Dolphin PHP code. It's a perfect way to practice and try it out before you apply it to a live website. And it's free. So check it out if interested.